Hello and in this video, we are going to learn how to adjust table in Word. So first, let's learn how to adjust table columns. So we might want to adjust the column so that it is smaller or bigger. So one very common method is to do it manually. All you need to do is to move your mouse cursor to the beginning or the end of the table column and then just hold and drag the mouse until you get to the desired position. But the problem with this approach is that we would have to do it manually and it's really difficult to, to ensure that all the columns are of equal width. So a better alternative is to let a word handle this for us. All you need to do is to select the entire table, then go to table layout and here let's adjust the width. So for example, I want to make the column smaller, so three centimeter. And that's done. Now you want to make it bigger. Let's say 4.5. Also done. And our first problem is solved. In the next example, we want to make all cells in the table the same height. So I have a very simple table here, and you can see that each cell has a single line, but the last cell, the last row has two lines in it. And what we really want to do is for all cells in the table to be of equal height. Now, of course, we can do it manually. Just drag the mouse. But please don't do that because not only it is very time consuming, but it is really difficult to ensure that all the cells are of equal height. So a better alternative is to select the entire table. Go to table height. And because we want to add a bit more height to all the cells, so let's change this from 0 0.5 to maybe 0 0.95. And let's see how it does. And our problem is solved. But now we have another problem. The last cell is fine because it has two rows. But you can see that the text are somehow skewed towards the top of each cell. And what we really want is for the text to be aligned in the middle of the cell. So in this case, don't do it manually. Again, select the entire table and click on this button here. Align center left, left horizontally and center vertically. And our problem is solved. Now next, very often we would need to resize the table. So you can see that the table here is uh, spreading beyond the border of the page. And this normally happens when you cut and paste a table from another office application, such as Excel or PowerPoint. Normally, our impulse could be to drag it forcibly, but still it doesn't work. So a better alternative is to click on the entire table, then go to table layout, go to auto fit, and select auto fit to window. Window here means the page border and our problem is solved. Now, another very common problem is a wastage of space. So you can see that this table looks fine. Everything is fit nicely within the page border, but you can see that the first uh, column has very little text, but a lot of space, whereas the second column has a lot of text, but not enough space. And what we really want to do is for it to be aligned, somehow aligned according to the amount of text in it. So we want less space on column number one and column number three, and more space on the second column. Okay, so in this case, again, select the entire table, then go to table layout, select auto fit, and select auto fit to contents and other problem is solved now sometimes we really struggle with a table cell that is breaking across the pages and this normally happens when we have quite a fair amount of text on the table cell now what we really want to do is for everything on the gallery row to be on the same page. Uh, but please don't uh, try to push it down forcibly because sooner or later when the table grows or more texts are being added, it will create problems for you. In this case, right click, go to table properties and you can see that there's an option here that allows row to break across pages and it is checked by default. So all we need to do is to uncheck this option, press OK. And now, in the future, everything will be automatically managed by what? I hope you found this video useful. That's it for now. Happy learning and see you in the next video.